distractions are killing your trading. So we're constantly bombarded now with notifications from, you know, all sorts of social media apps and emails. Uh, you know, we often get distracted by, you know, YouTube as well and Netflix. And as traders, uh, it's vitally important that when we are focused and trying to trade that we don't lose focus and we need to be aware of this so that it doesn't impact our PL because if it's something that we can control we ought to be we well we ought to be making conscious effort to make sure that those things don't um, affect our PL because it's something that we can control and something that we can ultimately take control of and limit that distraction so one of the things that you know i noticed for me was when i was in in involved actively in a community before um like last year if this was through discord and what i was finding was that if i was uh, active you know responding to people in the, in the community during my trading time I was losing my focus and I'd potentially miss trades or I'd have an alert go off and the I'd quickly have to look at the chart and make an assumption based on what the information was given to me right in that in that you know one or two minutes rather than being mindful and not looking you know, not being involved, not being having my attention pulled away from anything else, and, and I'm able to watch and observe the market develop, you know, into an area that I'm interested in, and I've already developed a thesis and a, like a synopsis of, of, of what I'm expecting from the market, so that I can have less decisions to make when the trade sets up. Whereas before, if I'm distracted and I'm having to come into the charts. You know not fully present not fully aware of what's been happening on the charts in the last you know few minutes or whatever leading up to the alert going off i've got to make a lot more decisions in the moments or whatever however long it takes for a setup or a setup not to occur and that rush of trying to solve the problem of what we're trying to you know look for our edge oftentimes can lead to mistakes so it could be seeing a trade that isn't there or not fully being aware of a different time frame. So, you know, you get lured into thinking that, you know, it's potentially a long and actually something changed on a different time frame or, or in your setup. So actually it negated that and it was either invalid altogether or you should have been looking for shorts. So getting distracted and making sure that we put things in place to make sure that we aren't distracted um for me and you know the people that i've worked with has helped them you know drastically so some of the things that you can do is making sure that if you are getting distracted by things make a cog like a conscious effort not to do those things during your trading you know for those of us that are day trading you know typically we're only trading for you know three hours of the day maximum so if you can't limit distractions for three hours you really need to be questioning whether you should be day trading um, and whether perhaps you need to take a more swing trading approach where distractions could you know what i'm calling distractions could be um viewed as you could could have them because you're not quite you're not quite looking for that precise entry or fluctuations you know in the chart you know it's not going to affect you as much being a swing trader you know you're going to have large stops you're going to have larger areas of value that you're looking for you know for price to come to or to target as well so you can have a lot more time to be able to analyze a trade when it comes to a zone so having a few other distractions um isn't really going to have as much effect on a swing trader as um, as it would on a day trader. Um, just as a swing trader, you, you know, you need to be a little bit more aware of your emotions. Like if you, you know, if, if you've had an email coming or something like that, and you're very uh, 
uh, it's got you riled up or something like that or you're dealing with some some another business and you know you you're feeling you know that someone's taking the piss out of you or something like that you've got to make sure that if a trade presents that you're not taking that uh, negative emotion over onto your charts and looking to execute from that state you need to take a step back take a few breaths make sure that you're settled and then and then look to analyze your trade in that in that scenario um but yeah but you know with iphones you know we can set you know up we can set it up so that during our trading time um we don't get any notifications a simple one to be also would be you could put it into airplane mode um or put it onto silence but you've got to be really disciplined in not checking um, your phone. You know, if you've told yourself that you're going to do that, do it. Because if you're not following through on what you're telling yourself you're going to do, you're degrading yourself without you actually knowing it. Because your subconscious makes a note of that, saying, "Oh, he told me. That he told me that he was going to do that, but it was all right. He he, he just grabbed his phone." And then that's where you find that you start slipping on these things, and you know, you very easily find yourself then back in your old habits, back in your old ways, because you're not doing what you say you're going to do. And it's these little things that you can stack wins on uh, by not by following through on what you're doing and not looking at your phone if you told yourself that's what you're going to do, or you're not going to go on YouTube, or you're not going to go in the Discord community until after your trading session. And just following through on these is going to not only level up your trading, it's going to help you build more focus, and it's going to allow you to see um, how you're trading and how you can improve your edge and your setup because you're being present, you're being cognizant in the market. You can see how it's reacting, how it's you know fluctuating. You you might pick up on things that you hadn't noticed before because you're more present and you're looking at it. Um, you know from from afar. You know you're, you're you're observing the market rather than trying to participate in the market. And that operating from that frame of mind. Uh, and that standpoint is going to allow you to not only pick up on things that you can improve on, but also areas where you might be weak and you can look to improve on those areas. So a lot to take in there, a lot to digest. Um, some of the things you're going to find uncomfortable doing them um, because anything that we don't necessarily want to do is always discomfort uh, discomfortable at first. Um, but we've got to push through that and we've got to, you know, make sure that we are coming as our as the best trader uh, every morning uh, or every day and just executing as best we can. So that's been a good one and let's get after it.